All right, space weather update. Looking at last 48 hours of the solar disk at 171 angstroms. We can see sunspot 2719 and 2720 are setting right there. And you can see the magnetic loops associated with those. Oops. And I'd like to direct your attention to the eastern limb. There is another active region rising. So let's zoom in on that for a second. Because the magnetic loops look very powerful and they're forming right now, actually. You can see the leading edge of them as they drop back down. Watch. The last few frames. Have a look at this active region rising. There we go. Does not appear to be a sunspot yet. Uh, and let's consult solarham.net. I don't want the simplified view. I want the complicated view. So we now have zero sunspots again. Um, so there you go. There's your magnetogram. There is an active region, but everything's pretty weak. And there may be a sunspot rising. So let's take a couple images here. Current moment. Again, you can see these magnetic loops are looking very powerful. So that may become a sunspot sooner than later. Let's take a look at the uh, 304 angstroms. A lot of filamentary activity. Very interesting filaments. If you want a video of this, please head to uh, the NASA SDO, which is where our initial video came from. Just type in NASA SDO and you'll find all this data. Next, let's look at spaceweather.com who is reporting that we are on our 133rd spotless day. Solar wind only slightly elevated, density totally average. And let's look at the rest of the data at spaceweathernews.com. So what do we got? X-ray flux is flatlined. Solar wind is... Now oh, the phi angle is changing a little bit, but as the speed drops, the density is very average. Magnetogram is very in an average sine wave sort of pattern here. I do want to note that they did increase the graph here. They're now reporting up to 200 nanotesla. Uh, and that strange magnetic anomaly from last week was clearly pegged well over 250. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but uh, you know this is this is the kind of the instant data of solar activity, especially if a magnetic anomaly causes a sudden KP index of seven. Here's your X-ray flux, little tiny bit of flaring very early this morning UTC, but not too much. Only in the A range, KP is back down to one. So, also, I think the most noteworthy thing once again is the electron flux as it's flattening out, but it's flattening out at a very high level. So if this gets a spike, that correlates to a spike in earthquake activity. And this has been associated with, I mean, if you can see that, obviously the, uh, the density here is sticking above 10 to the fifth on the high energy spectrum of it. So that's interesting. I mean, if that if that significantly goes up from there, that that increases your risk. Now, charging hazards all around. So uh, there's still lots of charge in the atmosphere. If you're not operating satellites, don't worry about it. If you are operating amateur radio, you're not having a good time. This is uh, pretty weak, and at a KP of one, getting weaker. Let's close things out with a little bit more of this video. So we got a blank solar disk now, but active region rising. And we actually are pegged at a high electron energy level. So keep an eye on the magnetometer. Be safe. And please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.